I would vote wisely. Being a voter means that you are given the power to choose the right leader that either lead or misdirect us. The challenge is how are we going to choose if all of them have good goals and flowery words? First thing, do not demand on vote buying because they're buying your rights and you're selling your future. Don't risk your country in exchange of 500 pesos. Next, be aware of each candidate's identity. It is important for us to recognize them well to know if they have violated laws or agreements. Finally, create and have your list of qualities that you expect to each candidate. I have already created my list. In order to vote, I would prefer someone with special qualities that really suit that special heavy job. A. He or she should be trustworthiness because after all, we state the country to him or her. Then, he or she should have the courage to do right thing yet in good process. All the good goals, it should always be in God's will. Next, is a good observer and listener. He or she is willing to listen to his or her fellow man complaints. Furthermore, he or she can account his words and actions, equally important in dealing peacefully with insults, anger, and disagreements. That's our meanies. How about you? Of course, there are some basic qualities that we should expect from any candidate for president, and I'm sure that you can come up with your own list. Here are some. First, trustworthiness. Next, being honest, don't cheat, steal, or deceive. Next, he or she have respect to others, being tolerant of others, and accepting of differences. And of course, he or she should, should be responsible. He have good planning, perseverance, self-control, and self-discipline. He or she should be open-minded and always listening. He or she don't blame others for his or her own faults. Next, of course, especially important, caring, kindness, compassion, and forgiveness. Of course, being citizenship, protecting the environment, voting, and volunteering. Hi, I am Maria Tercita Elisa de Acma and a student from grade 10 Michael and I am here to give you some details, characteristics or standards that you will be needed to pick or choose a political leader. Obviously, I would definitely choose those political candidates who is responsible in every action that he she will go to do because if he she can be responsible, surely it will lead its nation a responsible and a better one. Besides, if you can be responsible first, the entire nation can be known in the other countries. In addition, you should be disciplined because it is equally important with being responsible. Although being a leader is not too difficult, yet not too easy. So, they also need to show us determination despite the fact that handling a whole nation is such a big responsibility. In fact, if you fail to do your job right, the whole nation will suffer. Since election is coming, you should always vote wisely. As I have said, we have to pick leaders with potential and have characteristics like this. Responsible in every action, disciplined in handling a nation, determined in achieving something, smart to make decisions, and brave to push it through. So I guess that's all. So actually I, I was listed here the characteristic and started that we will be needed because it, it's such long but I was not able to mention all of it so um, I guess that's all and thank you hi everyone good afternoon I know that we are all aware of the upcoming 2016 election where in fact our parents are getting ready I believe that it's hard for them to choose who to vote for the perfect one that perfectly fits the position. Well, me, as a student, I was asked one question. 
if I were to vote, I would. Well, if I were to vote, I would definitely be having a hard time to choose who to vote. Because voting has never been an easy thing. It is not as easy as 1, 2, 3. Of course, we need time for us to think who to vote based on some qualifications. Well, for me, I set three things for me to choose who am I going to vote. First, I would let myself be aware of these candidates. I should know their qualities, their personalities. Yes, we have different identities, we have different characteristics, we have different attitudes, good or bad. However, no one is perfect. But somehow, I believe that it will help me a lot to choose who to vote because first of all qualities or the personalities the attitudes of the candidates is very important where they are already on the position second I should have a background check on how well their records are I would know what they have done for their country not just what they have done but more to it is to know if these things that they have done help us a lot. Well, because of that, I should have the feedbacks of the people regarding these things. Yes, people change, but I believe somehow it will help me to know who to vote. And lastly, I would let myself have time for me to think and to evaluate this matter. I would give myself time to think who to vote and to use my power to vote perfectly and carefully. I would give myself time to evaluate things to finally choose the perfect one and who perfectly fits the position. And lastly, if I were to vote, I would use my power to at least help the country solve such problems, such issues, and make a more productive nation. Thank you. Good morning. If I were to vote, I would pick a candidate with these following requirements. First, a candidate whose efforts and actions will last from the time of campaigning up to the point that he or she will be in position because nowadays politicians are just good by words and actions during the campaigning period to vote is to gamble taking risk for the sake of your family moreover for the family of every filipino secondly a candidate who is a man of few words but more of actions since the politicians were indeed man of persuasive words just to catch one's attraction yet it must not be the basis for you or for us to pick that candidate who only can is to speak in front and make a storytelling but after that he or she have nothing to prove on his actions have yet not have yet nothing to prove on the community lastly i would pick a candidate who can be different from the others you know a candidate with with compassion a candidate that will make a difference since then the yearly routine of politics is such a lame for filipinos you know after they won the elections they will sit on their positions they will make good impressions on cam or in media in front then they got involved on scam plunder cases and other conspiracies what a lame government routine i want a politician or candidate who will change the core of government not just upwriting and upholding the law but having more compassion on filipinos were in need a candidate or politician that will give more focus on empowering the labor force and generating 
more jobs to all Filipinos to lessen the government liabilities. As I repeat, to vote is gamble, taking risk for hoping for the good outcome for the sake of every Filipino and for the lives of our family for the next three to six years. Thank you and God bless Philippines. Good morning. If I were to vote, I would vote a leader that is responsible, respected, and most of all, influential. A good leader can make our community better. If I were to vote, I would vote a person that deserves my vote. A person that deserves to become a leader for our country. We all know that many people in our country suffer in poverty. For me, a good leader is always ready to help their country, countrymen, and they always active in giving a good service, good service, good service in the people who really needs their attention and responsibility. A responsible leader is doing their job well and without paying back for of them. Because if they want, really want new changes in our economy, they always have a solution for the people's complaints. So for me, a good leader is a provider, an instrument, and follow us. Thank you. Francis Gustavi, if I were to vote, I would look for a leader with a compassion on Philippines, dedicated on his duties and job, and lastly, responsible on his action. Leaders are made by their experience. They must be passed compassion on people who need it. Because in the development, we are all the winning factors and the actor that why we not that why we, we must teach other in the sickness and health. Moreover, the leader must be dedicated on his work because if there is no hub, love on his job, the essence and the, the essence of serving the public is lost. And if there is a dedication, the people will be happy and satisfied with care on the leader who served them. Last, responsible on action and words to avoid misconception and involvement, but on any cases, a leader must be aware and have accountability on his action. Those are the characteristics that I look on a leader. With a song, many issues that destroy our society and government. That is why we, we must be wise as well as disciplined. Thank you. If I were to vote, I would vote wisely because voting is a way to speak our mind and letting our voices to be heard. In voting, it also allows the poor, the lower class, and the minorities to have a political decision, making power equal to that of the rich, the higher class, and majority. Vote the person who has a concern about education, public safety, social security, healthcare, and other important issues. We all know that voting is an important process in which we come together to our voice, our opinion so that we may be represented by a government that best suits our nation. But if we don't vote for what we believe in, in by not voting, our government cannot reflect our opinions because our opinions are not being counted. Although many people believe that one vote does not matter, obviously voting changes communities because when we vote, we can get results that we can actually see. There will be a change, although there are a lot of government officials that are corrupt. Voting is our chance to make a difference in our own lives and within the world. Besides, we all know that the most important part of democratic government is voting. Some reasons why others didn't vote because others think it is hard to register to vote or do not know how to register. As I have said, Voting is important because we are fortunate, fortunate enough to live in a country where almost everyone can vote and almost anyone can run to become an elected official. The only way to change something you do not like in our government is to vote for someone who has the interest and support to change that issue. 
Also, voting sends your ideas all across the country. It does make a difference. In fact, in voting, we represent a new generation and need to elect officials who will consider our ideas when they vote on an issue. As I have noted, our government is supposed to represent us. If we don't express our wishes about who we want representing us and about the proposed law and changes to laws, we will, will not be represented as intended. Voting is also a way of showing your commitment to the democracy that you lived in. Therefore, every time you vote, it is like you are declaring that you believe in your country. As long as our country has succeeded, there have been people who didn't want us to vote. There were several freedom fighters that stood up for the right to vote. Well, those times seems ancient, but there are still people today who don't want us to vote. B lastly, because it gives us credibility. I choose a candidate who was here to run. And God God. He is concerned to all his constituents and he loves his country. He has a good project and a program, especially to the poor people and free education or scholarship, health assistances, housing livelihood, peace and order and clean and green program. He will keep orders and minister justice and give safeguard to individuals' rights and proper property can assure everyone an equal economic opportunity, wholesome living condition, a chance to work and have a good job for a decent livelihood. Hi, I'm Romel Victor J. Vista from Great Ten Michael. Uh, if I were to vote, first, I would vote a responsible person who can make Filipinos united as one. A responsible that can do his or her job correctly. A person that can make us feel comfortable of what our doing. And a person who is not only using his or her words to prove him or, or herself to us. Second, I would vote an honest person who does not run for his or her position to earn money to become rich. We need an honest person for us to trust him or her for leading our country. And last, I would vote a God-fearing person, a person that is committed to the Lord. Because if God is in our heart, we will not tempt to do something bad or to do something wrong in our surroundings. I would vote for a that person who do things with the help of our God. Guys, please open your eyes. We are mature enough to know what is good or bad. We need to think correctly in choosing our leader. And for me, we need a leader that is responsible, who can make Filipinos united as one. An honest person for us to trust him or her in leading our country. And a God-fearing person who do things with the help of our God. Thank you. Instead of my role, it's because the third thing we do is something like like the death penalty for those who are criminal, just not a simple criminal. But he also wanted to make a crime for this because lack of cases are rejected by the past higher council, or which we call the president and the senator. Some of the cases rejected in the law is because of the money. In addition, the third day wants to make our economical rate high. Besides, we also want our economics to grow faster instead of Marrojas. He is a senator for almost a year. Compared to the third day, that is only a major. Therefore, we can notice that Marrojas is rich in the promises that he always never makes. He is a president. He is a senator that don't have any contribution to our party. Besides, we always make herself higher than the others because he always make love or in any shape to others. In addition, I choose the third day is because I know that he is hardworking and responsible to their work. Lastly, I know that we have 
Good day everyone, I'm Paolo Vibercasio. If I were to vote, I would look for a candidate with good characteristics. First, having responsibilities on his words and actions. Nowadays, there are good politicians but sometimes get involved on different cases. I want a candidate that will be that will be more aware on his or her words and actions because government is for big subject of development. Second, politician with strong patriotism, with strong love for the country, they will be the one who will represent our nation. They will lead us to what we want to achieve. They will the one who will cure the nation's diseases in terms of governance. Lastly, have the courage to for to face the transitions on the society we are on the 20th century there are many problems rising anywhere if the candidate have the strong faith courage and will it will be easy for us to fight the problems but also we must we must remember what george washington said let's start the change on ourselves before changing the system filipinos must Ma Filipinos must be responsible and more intelligent or wise on choosing the leader. Thank you very much. From Trent Michael, and if I were to vote, I have three standards. And the first standard is I will choose a smart one that will make a good decision for us. For and you know if if we choose smart smart ones, and he he or she can make can make a good decision for us are are and can build a good nation um i think and make people a better and make and make us a better one and you know if if he or she can be and i guess she or he deserves to be a political leader and my sec and my second standard is i will choose the one that i think is not corrupt Therefore, I will co I will comfortable on her the way the way on his leadership goes, and then the, my last lastly my third standard is and lastly I will choose the the one that is responsible for all the for all the for all the things that he that that he needs to do on, for our country because if you are responsible. The, the, entire, the entire nation will be good or better among the countries and I hope these three standards will help us to choose to, to vote wisely and to choose a better A great day to everyone. My name is Gerald B. Manila and if I were to vote, I would choose a candidate with these traits and following characteristics. First, a loyal leader who's honest on his service and responsible enough in any circumstances. First, a loyal, a loyal leader. If he or she is loyal to all Filipinos, our sympathy for the leader will be good. And he is and if he is loyal enough to us, we can easily build good images on society and will easily compromise issues on his, on his community. Second, a leader must be a responsible leader in any circumstance. It's his presence to resolve the problem. He or she must be a good role model to us or her team members. Because loyalty is not only all about not breaking a trust for a person, but also the hardship and the things you do for that person. A leader doesn't need to prove that he that he's trustworthy or so on. A leader doesn't need to prove anything. A leader just need to do his part with his own hand and for him to also please others. A leader will only have loyalty no matter what happens. Even the leader is disappointed, he will be part of the change to improve his people. 
And lastly, a leader must have a God feeling. If the leader knows the Lord, he or she will be afraid of doing what is wrong. And they will have more compassion for the Filipinos who are in this world. Morning. If I would vote, I would vote the candidate that will do what they should in their campaign. The one that is definitely brave to stand for what they want. The one that is responsible and honest candidate. The one that will make sure that the taxes we pay are in the right person to use it wisely. Second, is the one that has no secrets. For example, secret mom accounts and etc. Because if you vote a person that has secrets, he or she will not do good things to our country. Lastly, the one that I will vote is the one that can respect his countrymen and that will fight for what is right. As a total, the one that I will vote is the one that has respect, that is honest, responsible, and a candidate that's no secret on us. That's a good project for our country, like a free education for our children that can't afford to go to school. Project for the health of the people so that less people will go to the hospital. Project for the poor people that can't afford to buy their own house. I will not vote the person that is corrupt. He or she will only get used the money for himself or herself. And not to think about the other people. There are some basic characteristics that we want and expect from the, from the whole candidates for president position. And because of the upcoming election, I know here are some qualities that the candidates I want expect, and expect. If I were to vote, I would choose the, the, the self-discipline and the dignity for a person. Thank you.